Because the candidates like Jill Stein and Gary Johnson of the Green Party and Libertarian Party, respectively, will show that when we are in their backyard, supporting their dictators overseas, military attacks everywhere, it's been going on for 100 years, eventually they're going to want to come into our backyard. Now, Trump's not going to say that, Clinton's not going to say that, but these two parties are going to say that. And what's really important is we don't have a debate on empire. We don't have a debate that we're all over the world, that we're breaching natural sovereignties, violating our Constitution, killing anybody uh, the president wants to kill. Uh, and we see it in Yemen, you see it in Afghanistan, Iraq, now Syria, uh, and many other countries. So it's not working. What started with a criminal gang in northeast Afghanistan has now spread into 20 countries. They're more trained, they're more adept in social media, they've got more people, and they're heading this way. So Trump will only exacerbate that, because he takes everything personally in terms of his ego. He has no p impulse control, and he'll lash out. Uh, with brute force, and it will only come back. And we are far more vulnerable than other countries. I mean, we totally freak out with an explosion here or a shooting there compared to what happens in Baghdad or in Afghanistan every day. So we are extremely vulnerable. The last thing we want is someone in the White House who believes in brute force. And I'm sorry to say that Hillary Clinton has that tendency as well when she uh, f uh, advances U.S. foreign policy. Would you